Alright, I think I'm about ready to continue the story. I think I got my team prepared for the next few bosses. I've still got some time left before a meeting starts. Maybe I should go get some rest? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the missables. According to the missable list, I only really need to watch out for that quest with Annabelle. Which I have already done. Yeah, I should be good. Rest. Eventually, the clock struck 12. One by one, Class 7 began to make their way to the Phoenix Wings cafeteria. And once they had all gathered, they jumped right into discussing what they were going to do from that point forward. Nine thousand Mira for completing the quest. Ah, oh, you went up a rank. Here's a little something from the Brave guild. Heart. Invigorate as a perk. Nice work. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself. All right, good. I've thought long and hard about it, and I think we as a class need to find a third way. A path of our own, separate from the ones the reformist and noble factions are taking. That's going to be difficult considering we have almost no firepower, unless you know how we're going to build some military factory. A third way, you say? We are pretty much screwed. We're better off just trying to run off to another country and hope the whole thing blows over. I do agree. It wouldn't feel quite right for us to directly support either side. True. We might be military academy students, but we're still students. Involving ourselves in a civil war isn't something we should take lightly. We might have a divine knight on our side, but we're still going to need to be very careful how we proceed. Also, is it, uh, also isn't Claire still part of the reformist faction? Even if Osborne's dead. Whatever we do, Valimar will certainly be at the center. No doubt. We've all seen how powerful the Divine Knights are. If we use them right, we can intervene in the war as much as we want. They're quite literally beings of legend. Even though Divine Knight can't fight off Soldats forever, though, and we still don't, we, we, we're probably still not ready to defeat Ordin yet. However, his potential influence on the war is all the more reason why he will need to be used cautiously. Hmm. What are we gonna do then? Even if we agree on not siding with either of the factions, I'm pretty sure each of us have different stuff we want to do. And different things that we have to do too. Yeah, that's true. For my part, I need to rescue Elise and Princess Alfin from the Noble Alliance's clutches. Whether it's alone or with you guys, it's something I'll do. There's no way you'll be alone for that. We're with you all the way. I'm concerned about Dad too, what with them having him under arrest. I still can't get in contact with Fiona either. I'm glad I was able to see Dad, but I'm worried about her. For me, I'm worried about Ruwer as a whole. It's a huge relief to see you're all right, Sharon, but Mother's still unaccounted for. I'm sorry I can't do more to comfort you, my lady. And I have no idea where Father's been for the past month. I'm certain he must be well, but all the same. We're all worried about our families, I see. Hopefully, we can find some information on all of them before the fighting gets any more fierce. <laughs> I'm certainly not worried about the safety of mine. Although, suffice it to say, if we choose to intervene in the war, conflict with them is all but inevitable. We already caused enough trouble for the Noble Alliance that... <laughs> really, I'm not sure how we're gonna proceed. That goes for Zeno and Leo, too. They've been hired by the Noble Alliance, so I'd say it's likely we'll run into them in the future. Plus, Emma and I still need to talk to Vita to see what exactly she's trying to do. To figure out what's so important to her that she was willing to break a taboo to do it. That's true. Whatever you decide to do, you'll have my full support. 
Just as the warriors of Nor did 250 years ago, I'm determined to fight to protect my second homeland and those who live within it. Oh, same! We can do this! I can back them up, right, Claire? How could I say no? I have my own duties to take care of as part of the Railway Military Police, but I fully intend to support all of you with everything I have. I'm thinking it's about time I return to helping the guild, actually. But I'll still be in touch with Sarah, so I'm sure I can lend a hand or two anytime you need it. <laughs> Naturally, I'd be overjoyed to continue serving as your dormitory's caretaker. I'm your instructor, so you're stuck with me to the very end. Whatever you choose to do, you'll have my support. You're going to need to decide on a more specific course of action, though. Resolving to find a third way is a start, but only a start. It also leaves plenty of questions that need to be answered on top of it all. Well, then how about this? Let's figure out right now whether or not we want to keep using Ymir as our base of operations. Yeah, we don't want them to... We, yeah, if they show up in Ymir again... Uh, Vida already knows we're in Ymir, so she could pretty much... T she can pretty much invade this place whenever she wants. Just so we're clear on this, there's a limit to how many people can use the spirit path at any one time. And with as many people as we have now, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be at this point. And we're limited on how frequently we can use it. Oh, right. But we're also just as limited on where we can go otherwise. We haven't exactly been the most subtle group around, but <clears throat> who's to say we could even operate elsewhere? An astute point. The Noble Alliance will no doubt be even more wary of us than before. In the end, no matter what we decide, we lose. Indeed. Yet we're short on time, so a decision must be made now. There's gotta be something that only we can do. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I know it exists. And I'm sure that we'll find it. Yeah, any choice will lead to failure. That's pretty much how the Kiseki games go. There's no way to... Stop wherever Ouroboros has going. The best thing we can do now is keep talking things out until we find a way. There's no point in rushing into a decision. Well, doesn't this look fun? Mind if I join in? What in the world? It couldn't be. Vita? She's probably been spying on us the entire time, so... Really, there's no way to beat the Noble Alliance at this point, or Ouroboros. They can just spy on us whenever they want. They're probably listening to <laughs> my to let's again, play Emma. right now and saying, Man, this guy really needs to work on his commentary or something like that. You were finally able to reunite with all of your classmates. I'm happy for you. Really, I am. The goddess was on your side after all, hmm? <sighs> Cut the crap, Vita. Have you been listening in all this time? Where are you? <laughs> I'm not far at all. Listen closely now. Th that sounds just like... Is that... It's coming from above us! Oh no, it's the Pantagruel, isn't it? Guys really should have dug a secret escape tunnel or something from inside the house. Just like in Hogan's Heroes or something. Yeah, there's no way you are. G yeah, these guys already know you're Isn't in your that mirror. The Noble Alliance Forces flagship. What's the Pantagruel doing here? Damn it! I didn't think she'd tell the rest of their army where we were. Of course she would. But why now? <laughs> Why? Because our preparations are finally complete. Vita! Vita! You're here! In the yes, flesh this time, not In a hologram. Good day to you all, Class 7. Hmm. As nice as it would be to finally give you a hug, Emma. I wouldn't want to keep our guest of honor waiting any longer. So, without further ado... <clears throat> and Crow's here too. It can't be. Isn't that... The Azure Knight. Crow. Uh -huh. 
Long time no see, guys. Sorry for dropping in on you like this, but I'm sure you know the drill by now. You ready to have some fun? Is that really you, Crow? There's no doubt about it. See, you damn terrorist. Come on! Right! Heed my call! Valimar! Uh. I don't even know how we're gonna be able to handle C when we can barely handle the, the, the mass reduced soul dots. Now would be a good time to invent Java so that we stand a chance against C. I'm not gonna lose this time. Because at the end of the day, he's just an obstacle that needs to be overcome. So lend me your power, Valimar! Very well. Use my power as you see there. Huh. You've really taken to piloting since your last encounter, haven't you? I was hoping you would, and you didn't let me down. You boys have so much potential. But potential is only that. Potential. And you, Reen, might want to reevaluate just how many obstacles need overcoming. Oh no, they brought Ouroboros numbers too. And they can teleport in non Ouroboros members. This is bad. Could be. Is, is Crow also using the spirit path to bring them? No, that wouldn't be it. Aren't those the Alliance's allies? Long time no see, kiddos. You doing alright, <clears throat> Fee? I see the purple lightning has joined your ranks. See, no. Leo. Zephyr! And a few members of Ouroboros, too. Guess all the big guys wanted a piece of us today. And look, Sammy's here, too! Kindly stop referring to Clown Soleus with that bizarre nickname. Ser seriously, Milliam does not seem even a slice of face that uh, this mysterious enemy uh, who has the same uh, moveset as her and stuff. It's such a pleasure to visit this wintry wonderland once again. Oh, it's a pleasure, all right. The time for my long-awaited revenge has finally come. Now you shall pay! Is she going to change her dialogue if you fail to defeat her during the last battle? Because, you know, she wouldn't have any revenge to worry about otherwise if she had stomped you. It's only been two days since you first fought them, you know. This could pose a problem. Why send so many powerful allies here? And all at once? <laughs> You've proven to be rather formidable adversaries after all. It wouldn't do to underestimate you. Rufus! I'm pleased to see you all again, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. As for you, dear brother, I was told that you'd run away from home. Does my heart good to see you safe and sound? So, you've finally gathered up the will to make the difficult choices life set at your feet, I presume. Even if those choices place you in my line of fire? <laughs> yes, I have. I can't believe he's shown up too. What are we going to do next? Bring in... Uh, uh, bring in... Zombie Love or something? The Noble Alliance is pulling out all the stops to finally get rid of us, aren't they? Reen, we'll take care of everything here. You and Valimar have your own battle to fight. Um, you should bring at least one ally with you. This whole, the whole uh, Valimar is actually a pretty crappy divine knight without a subcontractor. Are you sure? We're in for a real brawl out here, but a guy couldn't ask for better opponents. Come on, at least at least let me pick someone from class seven to act as my subcontractor. So Leave I the battle on the ground to us. Otherwise, I won't be able to heal at all. And against uh, Ordine, I definitely need my heals. 
We've no intention of backing down without a fight. Wait, Sharon! I know they're all strong, but still. Well, what do you say we get started? This is really a this is really a bad decision by the party. They should have spared a member of class seven to help Reed. <laughs> I'm impressed. You managed to hold your own better than I expected you to. It's only been a month or so, but you've really grown as an awakener, Reed. Well, it's hard to go through the kinds of things I have without growing from the experience. And now that I've done all that, I'm going to be the one who takes you down! <laughs> no, you're not. I said you could hold your own, not that you could win. Remember, there's still a three-year gap's worth of experience between us. And it's time you realize just how much of an impact that gap has. That's enough, Crow! Oh no. You're outnumbered by Ouroboros members. That's not a situation you ever want to be in. Seriously. Do they really stand a chance? Well, they're putting up a good fight so far, but... Yeah, it's not looking good. Yeah, McBurno's just gonna melt all the snow in this place. They're outnumbered for one thing. Then it's time we lent them our aid. Agreed. Weapons at the ready, guys. We're gonna have our hands full of the ceiling of Rufus. Always in a rush, aren't you? Stay right where you are. I'll serve as your opponent today. Y you will? Trying to stop us from joining in? <laughs> I'd rather our intrusion cause as little inconvenience as possible for the people of this village. I'll let you make the first move. It's been quite some time since I last instructed you in fencing uses. I look forward to seeing how you've improved. I think this one is also a, a 40 turn time limit. I, uh, yeah, it is. Wow. His guard's perfect. Stay alert. Rufus is a master of court fencing. We'll need to put all we have into this battle to even stand a chance against him. I would have it no other way. Please let me organize my party. Do not just give me the crap. Uh, do not give me a crappy team where all the mages are right at the front line. That would really suck. Eustace is locked no matter what. Okay. They didn't even get let me go into my menu. Show me what you're capable of. These guys of. are freaking Okay. Yeah, this game is just way too savage. Anyways. Battle scope. My turn. Mass group buff. Now's up. Heavenly gift. Because we need the evasion. Huh. Too slow. Too slow. No. Even Here with buffs, this is not going to be easy. I also need to use Crescent Shell because of his spell spamming. Uh No ch very low chance of AT delay, but it's not entirely zero. Oh, I did AT delay him! Ha ha! Okay. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Let's try that again. One, two... What? What? No There's no way lightning would strike twice like that. I must have used up all my good luck for this battle, not one turn. Light. 
Okay, oh, let's do another this. noble command. It's my turn. Uh. Oh. Okay. Now that I am double stacked on strength, let's my see turn. how you do. One, two. Uh. And nope. Hey. I feel like cast shining on Elisa uh, just in case. Okay. Bullet Cyclone. One, two, one. Hi. AT delay. And I do not want you to even get a single turn. Whoa, he's really far away! <laughs> uh, that was pretty... F seriously. My turn. I might want to bring you a bit closer. Holy crap. Move down. My ATS should be very high, so that was a good ch time. Rise, great and I'm still going to move before him. What, what are the odds? <laughs> Whoa, how are you? Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. That still didn't do much damage. Right. Focus, activate. My turn. One, two. Huh? Oh no, I have to recast and it on her. Shoot. From is spells take up twice as much turns as My attack, so One, I have no idea how I'm doing in terms of time. I may have to redo this with a more physical oriented party. Right. Perhaps guys instead of Emma. On the other hand, arts do a lot. Probably are probably more effective than physical attacks in this situation. Huh. Yeah, five thousand is not bad. It's my turn. Really. <sighs> Very well. Keep up the buff. Oh, crit! I put criminal on her to make it a little easier. I think now's a good time to just start spamming S-Crafts. I'm already almost halfway. I should still make it within the turn limit, hopefully. Show your big brother how it's done! Come 
Come on. Give me some sepin as well. Here I go. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no. Did I, I did not make it in time, did I? Holy crap! Oh, did I get AP for that? Yes! I did! Even if it was a loss, I still at least got my, the job done. AP increased by 3. Even if he, he pretty much wrecked me. <laughs> well, I won't deny that was an entertaining diversion. Seriously, he fought better than two Ouroboros members at once. Uh, two p normal Enforcer tier characters at once. He's probably on Love tier. But you'd do well to intensify your training regimen if you hope to best me. <sighs> How is he so strong? He didn't stand a chance. He might even be stronger than Sarah. You guys okay? Hey, you really think you've got time to be worrying about Yeah, them? you really should have just brought you one person with you. One, All right, bring it on. It's time to settle this, Crow. Bring it on. And he gets the first turn. This will be a tough one. Be careful. Ha! Ah! Ah! Sorry, busting out the big craft. Does this guy even have an unbalanced thing? Let me. I wonder. I, hey, I want to check something. Maybe is this unbalanced the same as in the previous game? Maybe. I wonder if it, it's possible that they changed it up just to trick players who were uh, 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 who uh, who wanted to depend on their prior knowledge. Okay. Given the way his hands are, I maybe his head. He dodged. He wasn't even in his dodging stance. Okay, it's not his head, obviously. So I'll try his body next, because the, the game's not really giving me a choice here. Nope. Okay, this one is supposed to be his body according to the guide, but again, they could have changed things. They probably did. Nope. Uh, I don't think I could win that even with an ally. All None of my attacks can even hit him. Settled enough for you? <clears throat> Didn't even bother to use that trump card of yours. Uh, he wasn't even trying last time, then was he? <laughs> Come on. With the way you are now, I don't even need to try. I'll always win. And that ring perfectly illustrates just how massive the gulf between us is. Maybe you think you've had it tough up till now. But you're going to need to go through a hell of a lot more if you want to even the odds. <sighs> I see the battle here has come to an end. Ah, uh, Avia. Hmm. I can't help but feel a little bummed that everything went exactly as I thought it would. Still, it just goes to show how much faith I have in your skills, my sweet Azure Chevalier. Funny, I don't recall ever becoming yours. How's everything up top? 
I think it's only a matter of time before the battle is decided. But we've caused enough trouble for the people of Ymir already. It's about time we brought this to a close. Phantasmal oh, window. Phantasmal window. Uh oh. Is she gonna summon a ton of demons or something? A ton of those magic knights. Oh. My apologies for not coming down to speak with you in person, ladies and gentlemen of Thor's Military Academy. You know who I am, of course, but I am Duke Kayet, ruler of the Lemaire province and supreme leader of the Noble Alliance. Duke Kayan? So even the big guy himself is here. <laughs> uh. I must say, what a curious group we have here. I heard as much, but allow me to extend my most heartfelt congratulations. My expectations have thoroughly been exceeded. When I saw young Eusus and Laura in Legram earlier this year, I could never have imagined this is how we would next meet. Oh, I'm sure your parents must have warned you against wandering off with such disreputable individuals on a number of occasions. But I suppose every child thinks that they alone know what is best for themselves. Duke Alborea was simply livid about what happened. But it can't hurt to learn more about the outside world, hmm? <sighs> what that leaves his mouth is condescending. Did you come all the way here just to tell us that? Don't be silly, child. Rain Schwarzer. I had this meeting arranged because I wanted to speak with you. Is he gonna try to recruit me? Perhaps the method was a touch too garish for something so simple, but do forgive me for not formally requesting an audience. With me? <laughs> with you. Allow me to get right to the point. I wish to invite you, Ashen Chevalier, aboard our flagship. <gasps> Wait, why? <laughs> I've heard all about your magnificent exploits across the land. And so I thought it would be nice to sit down and have a long, pleasant chat with you. About the past, the present, as well as your future. Are you suggesting... Wait, why do they even need a buyer to attack the village if they have Elise anyways? They could have used her as a hostage to force Reen to come aboard anyways, couldn't they? You... you want Rain to join the Noble Alliance? Then again, part of Vita's plans is to pit Crow, Crow against Rain until Rain can catch up to Crow... Uh, and try to get Rain to catch up to Crow somehow. So... I guess that's the, the the main purpose of this uh, attack was mainly to... Uh, uh, to f force Rain to realize how much he needs to improve. They really could just force him to, uh, to come aboard any time as long as they have a lease. Seriously. Should you accept my invitation, we will withdraw peacefully from Ymir. Furthermore, I give you my personal assurance that we will leave this village alone for the duration of this war. A fine proposition, is it not? Are we interested? <sighs> Very well. Allow me to accept your invitation. Don't be an idiot! We don't really have a choice. Crow's about to lop her head off if we don't go go with them. This is clearly a trap! They wouldn't come all the way out here and take you into their flagship if it weren't. <laughs> I appreciate your concern. But trap or not, this might be a good chance for us too. I think I'd regret it if I let it pass. Balamar, transport Celine back outside. Huh? Are you certain? N now hold it right there. Well, I guess uh, 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 I guess Emma would be able to work better with Celine, but still. Don't worry about me. The odds were against all of us getting back together, but we did it, and I'm sure we can do it again too. So just wait with Emma for now. I'll be back before you know it. Balamar, if you would. Very well. Well, wait! It 
It seems the time has come for us to part ways once again. But remember this. You're an Alborea. There is power and dignity in that name. To whatever end you would use it. I want you to prove that the convictions you cling to are worthy of your loyalty. Not for my benefit, but for yours. That's awfully encouraging. Wait! How is it... How, it's hard to believe Rufus turned out as he did, considering who his father is. Even though he's on the enemy side, he seems rather open-minded about Eustace making his own decisions. Lord Rufus! Well met, Lord Schwarzer. It's a pleasure to see you again. Allow me to extend my apologies for the harm my father visited upon this town and its people. Never mind that! What do you intend to do with my son? And what is a promising young man like yourself? We're simply going to borrow young Reen for a short while. There's nothing to worry about. Short while. They'll probably let uh, they'll probably let Reen go eventually, just so Reen can level grind and 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 become strong enough for whatever plan they have for him. I'm a busy man these days, though. So for now, I bid you adieu. Ouroboros likes to kill our hopes and dreams, that's why. Sorry, but I'll be back, I promise. So stay safe. Master Reed! Reed! Trapped on a giant airship. Where have we been through this before? Kind of appropriate that I have the Joshua costume on Reen, huh? Or maybe I should have put him. In, or maybe he should have you have had the Estelle costume instead. Cross dressed as Estelle for the rest of this uh, the next segment. Her bond strengthened. Okay, that that was kind of a whiplash there. Yeah, you know, we usually get these. We're usually supposed to get these every chapter in the uh, when it comes to the previous game. But in this one, they, uh, they don't really give you as many opportu uh, opportunities to get free Link EXP other than bonding events. Anger. Sharon fought well against Rufus. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.